Hello, and welcome to another episode of Math with Mrs. Zoomer. I'm your host, Mrs. Zoomer. Today, we're going to talk about one of my very favorite things to talk about. Now, why is it my favorite thing to talk about, or one of my favorite things? I have lots of favorite things to talk about, lots of them. But this one is definitely one of my favorites. And why is it? Because this is what people in real life try to get, get you to believe, okay? Today is all about how advertisers or... Um, people who in the media try to get you to believe what they want you to believe, okay? Everybody does it. Every single person, every news station, every ad, they all do this. They take data and they make it tell you what they want it to tell you. Like how can Ford tell you they have the best truck, but Chevy also tell you they have the best truck? How, how does that work? Okay. How, doesn't one of them have to actually be the best to make that work? Verizon always says it has the leading network and whatever. But then AT&T says the same thing. Well, how, how can they claim that? Well, this is how, okay? This is, one of the, this is one of the ways how. This is how they say, ours is so much better. Or, oh my goodness, there was so much more. They make you charts that look like these. My goal today is to help you identify how is this data misleading and how could you fix this data? Okay, so step one is why is it weird and wrong and no? And two, what would you do to make it look more realistic? Okay, more like what it should look like because you're not trying to like convince anybody. I mean, maybe that you're really awesome. True, but you already do that every day just by showing up and being you. You don't need a chart, you just be you, be awesome. Let's take a look at these graphs. Now, both of these graphs that I drew, first I drew a pictograph, then I drew a bar graph, and both of these are misleading, okay? This particular one talks about grocery store crowds, okay? And there's a key at the bottom in my pictograph. It says the key is that one person is equal to 10 people. So if you see a one person on here, that means 10 people in real life, okay? So we can look at May, and oh, look how tiny these people are. So they must be less than 10 people then. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, two and a half people 42 people I don't know okay so 10 20 30 40 and a little bit people in June oh my gosh these are bigger people so they must clearly be worth more nope they're still just worth 10 people right so 10 20 people and July oh my gosh look there were just as many people in July as there were in June were there were there just because their bars are the same height but remember one person is 10 people there were 10 people in July on average, there were 20 people in June. There were more people in June than there were in July. They were not equal, they were not even, okay? So how is this data misleading? Well, it's misleading because the people are different sizes, okay? The people are different sizes. They should all be the same size. Now, in the book, they actually give you a really cool example where they used different images for the different parts of their pictograph. So double check that, that's on page 396. Okay, so on page 396, they do a really cool graph where they use different pictures. But the, the different pictures, it's the same problem. The different pictures are different sizes. So it looks like the bars are the same height. So you're like, oh, they must have been the same. But you have to stop and really think. They're, they're, they're not the same just because the bars are the same. The bars, the bars don't even matter in a pictograph. Okay, what really matters is how many pictures are in each column. There's one picture in July. July is 10 people. There's one picture, two pictures in June, that's 20 people. So how do you fix this? Well, you fix it by redrawing the graph. I'm just gonna draw it really quickly since we're on here together. And you redraw them with all the people the same size. That's how you fix it. So you would have May, June, July, okay? And you would have all the people be the same size. And then, you can clearly see that July had the fewest, June had the next, and May had the most. Okay, so how do you redo, how do you solve this problem? Well, what is the problem? That your pictures are different sizes in a picture graph. That's not, no, no, don't do that. How do you fix it? By making the pictures all the same size. Okay, okay. So what you're gonna do today, identify how it's misleading, and then identify how you can fix it. You might have to fix it, you might just have to identify how to fix it. So how could you fix it? You can make all the people the same size. All the pictures the same size. You can use that. That's very general for a picture graph. Next thing I want to talk about is the average daily temperature. Oh my gosh. So average daily temperature for July, August, and September. August was 
so incredibly hot. It was way hotter than July and September. July and September, they were the same temperature, but August was like so much hotter. Look how much higher that bar is. Whoa, stop time pause. Um, was it really that much harder? That much harder. Look, what was the temperature? It was 100 degrees in July and September on average. Look at the temperature, 102 tenths degree. It wasn't even a whole degree hotter on average. Two tenths. Do you think you even feel two tenths of a degree? Probably not. That's probably the equivalent to me going like, did you feel that? No, no, you didn't. Because it's not any different. It's not any different, okay? So, but look at the difference. You know how they did it? They changed their scale. Look at this, we started 100. They did a good job. They put a break in the graph, just like you should if you start anywhere, um, right, that you're not counting. So notice they counted by 100 and then 0 0.1, 0 0.2. They put a break here to show that they were gonna start at 100 and then start counting by what they actually wanted to count by. That's great, that's awesome. They did a good job of that. They did a bad job. It's misleading because the difference looks so big. So how could we fix this? Well, we could fix this by changing the scale of the graph, okay? So we have July, August, and September. Well, if we started and counted by 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so July was exactly 100. September was exactly 100. And August was 100.1, two, sorry, 102 tenths. It was 102 tenths. It was just a little bit hotter. Can you see that now you can tell that August, yeah, it was hotter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny that it was hotter, but was it really like, oh my gosh, August was like, oh my goodness. Cause that's what that looked like. That's exactly what that looked like. It looked like, oh my gosh, August was so much hotter than July and September. Um, it, it was like a little bit hotter. Yeah, but not that much hotter, okay. Now, how do people use these? People use this all the time because most people don't go over here and look at the scale. They just look at the picture and they go, oh my goodness, August was so much hotter. So what I hope you take away from today is I hope you take away the ability to look at a graph and really look at a graph and analyze it, okay? Looking at some data that somebody has presented to you and being like, wait a minute, time pause. Let me just analyze everything. Sometimes it'll be nicely presented to you. Absolutely, do sometimes people show you like this? Yes. But oftentimes do people show you like this to try to get their point across? Absolutely, okay? AT&T, they don't necessarily have the most 5G coverage. I don't really know, I'm kind of making this up right now, but in my mind, Verizon has the better AT&T coverage. But my guess is, is it something like this? Where Verizon maybe has a little tiny bit more? Yeah, but AT&T is like right there behind them. But you know what Verizon's gonna show you? They're gonna show you this graph. You know what AT&T might show you? They might show you this graph. So you're like, yeah, okay, they are like a little bit better, but not like enough to actually make a difference, okay? So you can take the same data and, in, and display it in two different ways and tell two very different stories. Neither of these are telling you falsehoods. This is not incorrect. They have appropriately labeled the graph. They've just chosen a very specific method to convey what they want you to know, what they want you to see and hear. Okay, that's what they want to do. That's the whole, that's the whole point of advertising this, get you to buy their product. How do they get you to buy their product? By telling you it's the best. How do they tell you it's the best? By showing you it's the very best. But what I want you to do is I want you to really look at that data that they're presenting to you and I want you to really think, okay, is it really like the best? Or is it like, yeah, it's the best. But like, eh, does it really make a difference? No, okay. So hopefully today you figured out your scale can be messed with, your size can be messed with, lots of other things can be problematic too, okay? You could have a pie chart that goes over 100%. Or it could be not 100%. Kind of like that. Doesn't make any sense. Or it could be like math and then like all other subjects. Like if you asked a pair of students what their favorite subject was and people were like math, this was math. And then you put like all other subjects well, that's not a fair comparison because like math compared to everything else. Well, yeah, there's like art and Spanish and history and science and, you know, in our case, religion and, and there's, and, and, and language arts and, and we could keep going and computer science and I mean, all these electives. That's not really fair to compare math to everything else. So what would you need to do? You would need to break it down into every subject. If you're gonna have one subject singled out, you gotta single out all of them. Okay. 
I single out them all. There are lots of ways to show you what people want you to believe. You need to do a good job of looking at the data and being like, okay, but is that like really a fair comparison? Okay, but is it really all that different? Okay, but like just because this person's bigger doesn't mean he's worth any more. Your job is to do that and then fix it and then talk about the data and compare it appropriately. That's what you're going to do today, okay? Tell me how it's misleading, how you could fix it, and then you're going to go from there. But my hope is that this lesson goes beyond today, here, me and you, in my living room. I hope you take this with you and apply it to everything you learn moving forward. Every article you read, every Facebook post you see, every Instagram chart message graph, every advertising commercial you see, I hope you take this and you apply it because it really does make a difference, okay? Hope you had fun on today's lesson. I know I sure did. And if we were in class, I probably could have talked about this for another 35 minutes, but I'm watching you. Hope you had fun. Catch you next time. Bye.